Right, in this video, I am going to be changing the immersion heater on my boiler system. And on my boiler system, I have one below on the tank and one above. The one below is the one I usually use. And if you're going to heat water, it makes sense to have the element right at the bottom. Think of a kettle element on a kettle if you open it up is at the bottom of the kettle not at the top but I usually use the top one for backup if the bottom one uh, blows or is short circuited over time you will find that it will short circuit when you run heat through it and uh, when that happens that's the time to change it. it will, what happens in your house, it, something will trip because there's a short circuit and you're in, in your house's um, main fuse box, something will trip and uh, you disconnect everything associated with that fuse. And um, when you go to switch on the thing that's tripping it, in this case, the immersion heater on the boiler, that will trip the, the main circuit again. So we know the fault is here. So you, I've been using that and the, uh, it's been okay. We've been getting by. But it's not uh, good enough because uh, the water is just kind of getting really hot at the beginning and then kind of not really hot. And it needs to be in the middle of your shower. All right. So, so well, anyway, if it's hot water does rise and that's why you won't get a proper kind of heating up of all the water. So isolate the mains. What I mean is switch it off at the wall. So switch off the pump. There's a, a wall socket for that. The switch off. Switch off. The relevant ones in your home. So I've turned off the, the electric going to, to here. This cable of the electric going in there, and I've turned off the electric going into the pump. Right, the uh, motion here for me is I bought from Wix, and I bought this a while ago, and it was quite cheap then. It's still quite cheap, but I think the cheapest one I can find now is from uh, Tool Station, about seventeen pounds. I bought this for about fourteen pounds about five years ago. 11 inch 279 millimeter motion here now this word is important incoloy sheep for longer life highly if you live in a high um what do you call it high particle area which is carbon uh, calcium carbonate or lime scale area you'll need incoloy which is what this is i live in a high high uh, calcium carbonate area that's what it looks like you need that I recommend long nose plier and you'll need a tool like this because that will fit in there forgot to turn off the water mains as well make sure you've got nothing running like the washing machine like what I have going at the moment so I've got to pause and wait for that right, the water after many turns of that valve is coming out uh, the thing is, look, this is kind of loose anyway, but I've tightened it back clockwise to tighten it. I don't trust that valve. It's so hard to take off, it shouldn't be that hard. So I think because it's easily rotatable, I am going to change that valve as well. What I've recently done to my car, as you've seen in one of my previous videos, if I see something faulty, I'm going to change it. Because I'm not going to let that happen to this. I'm not going to get because it has been always been a little bit leaking. So it's a leaky valve. So I'm going to change that as well. Must be like a 50 litre tank. It's about the fourth bucket load that I have uh, digging off. Sped the thing up near, near the bottom. I've just pulled my little rubber hose off. Right, well, that's the last of it. So I've uh, I'm gonna wind this 
and change it because it is kind of leaking. Still got the tub underneath. Oh, so it just came off like that. So the, all the P, PTFE was pushed to the bottom and the top of it had no PTFE. Tape. PTFE is this white tape you put on. Comes in a row, it's really cheap usually. Uh, and that stopped leaks and that was all kind of pushed down to the bottom. My guess is it's it's too much PTFE and there's a lot of there is a lot of I can feel it, lime scale. Let me put my finger up there, I can feel it. I'm gonna clean that out a bit. So I've won PTFE around it maybe about five times and it's very very thin. And I've really closed the valve. Hopefully I haven't put too much in like the last person did. And it's just gonna sit in there nicely, which it is, but it's not enough. You can tell it's gonna leak. So I'm gonna wind and it hasn't as the previous person did. Push it all the way down, so I'm gonna wind Feels a lot better. It's slightly winding it down, as you can see, winding the PTFE down, but that's okay. Let's hope it's not facing the wrong way in a minute. The correct amount on that, that is spawn. That has come to a stop just there. Right. <coughs> this one fits a lot better. Just gonna wind that on hand tight. That's good. That's good. Right. For the most difficult job, right, that is a very difficult job. It's possible before I might have to change this one on the right, the pump on the right, I may have undone all them, undone them, and pulled it out that way. Quite possible. I've tugged at it a little bit, and it is difficult, not impossible. I have done it before on the other side, but it's not really worth cleaning a filter for the amount of work but it is however worth for sure well, I have the opportunity to pump this thing up 0.8 bars and because what normally happens when you pump it up like that as, you un as I undo the thing when there's water involved when I do this water, air leaks like it does then it doesn't give you any chance but with the with the water out it gives you more of a chance by the way I only do this if it's the pump is going off by itself no so I pump thing I pumped up with some air so listen yes so with water in it that wouldn't have been possible, so I'm going to pump it up again. The way I did it, it's a screw-on jobby, what's a cool one. Pump it up to wherever I pulled on it, and then I twisted it. Right. So it, normally with the air, with the water pressure above it, it cannot be possible. Double check that the electrics are off. So you, know, you haven't been out like I have, and someone in your family has um, gone and removed it. I mean, switched it back on because they thought the water pump was switched off, anything like that. So I just need to. This is the live cable, where my hand is here, and that is I put on the one above, remember? Put on that one up there. But now, as I remove this, I will uh, re replace the cabling on the. One below. Here's my tool. And I 
think I need a long, very long leverage or two screwdrivers, two flat ones I reckon, so I can get both hands in there. Right, let's get them. You got a good leverage. Is it going to be so tight? I need a really big lever. I don't know how I managed that, but I just use these two. And I use 100% brute force, but it's just on the verge of buying, going out and buying screwdrivers that will fit and Phillips ones as well. So they can go past this hole here and big, big long ones. To give you leverage. It's leverage that counts with enough, enough leverage. I don't know what side this philosopher once said they can lift the world. And it is true. Let's get like a foot long Phillips screwdriver both sides. That would have come out. It would have been no struggle whatsoever. Because what I'm doing with the lever, I'm moving a tiny amount. It's basically Newton's the force applied times the distance of the, from the from the fulcrum from the turning point. So the more leverage you have, the more torque you can apply, and that's it. Oh my word! The state of that. I don't even want it to come out so much gunk in it. Looking, look at that. It's like from a horror film. I'm gonna clean all that out. Just remove my. So I'm gonna apply PTFE again, but I'm not gonna screw on so tight because that was hell trying to get off. Tight enough is good enough. So. I might even stick a vacuum cleaner on it. So much. Oh, look at that. Horrible. Ugly. Horrible and ugly. Right, so. Double check when you do the wiring. You're basically repeating what's. Just, just double up on the wiring. What I mean by that, I'm getting tired now. Swap the wiring over. What look what what is above there? How it's wired up? I wire up to a new one. After of course after you screw a new one back in. Right, let me just clean it up. Take a right. I've sucked up about five kilograms of this stuff. Uh, this is Berkshire I'm living in. I know it's no renowned for hard water, but this is ridiculous. I can't believe how much of this lime scale deposit is in here. So doing this job alone for this reason is worth it. I can't believe you can hear vacuum cleaners for me. I've really changed the bag once already. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. How can it be so much? One, one of these strips turn the pump have problems after a while. It's just mounds of this stuff. It's just mounds of it. Just be careful what sort of vacuum clean you're using. Make sure the water doesn't go through to the engine. It's just dampness in there, but I'm being checking. The engine is above. The engine is above the um, the filter. So every now and again, I'm going back checking. It is just how can it? it hasn't even been that many years since I changed this. I just want to do a bit of touting of this uh, Henry vacuum cleaner, the standard one you find. Although there's water in here, look, as you can see, I've already poured it away. See the bottom? All that in there. 
this filter is dry this goes on top and that's that's the engines above it so it's a very good design that's why they're probably the most used vacuum cleaners in the UK thoroughly recommend it nearly for so 10 years worth of lime scale and that's about a 10 kilogram bag now obviously hot water we can get to because it's that opening but the cold water is probably up here if it got really really bad I was just theorising what would I do there is a port on the up, upstairs here I don't know if we go in from above that's the only way so that's one of the jobs I'm looking forward to in the future but it may have to be done right a little bit of PTFE around it probably five times around and uh, that hole is properly cleaned out and I've WD faulted and cleaned out the thread I'm just going to go for a natural kind of wind in like that and it feels it should get progressively tighter and that should be pretty much how it should feel right. um, obviously you're not going to wind it on too tight you can hear that cookiness because it's spinning around naturally it's that PTFE that's going to give you that watertight seal oh nearly forgot there is a washer that comes with it nearly 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 forgot put a washer on as well so I might need to no, this is probably a good exercise what wound off a lot of the time scale on the threads So, don't forget the washer. Right, rewired it all. Uh, one last thing, don't forget to check for leaks. Stay a while, don't just walk off. And uh, basically check for leaks. When I turned on all the valves, Pump the water in. I'm going to put down these two back on. If we switch anything else, make sure the water fills up quite a lot before you turn any pumps on. And these valves are open. As I turned on the main stop cot here, I wound it all the way to the anti clockwise, all the way open. And I've noticed it's leaking a bit. There's a bit of dampness just down there, you can still see it. So I wound it back, you know, so I wound it back until it was closed and just opened it a couple of turns and that was fine. So prepare for that. It was leaking also on here. Here. So I put two screwdrivers in the uh, adapter and really wound it on tight. Alright, thanks for watching. If, you can, if you're not confident, just get someone to help you or get a professional to help you. If you are confident, you know, you do cars on me. It's not a problem, don't forget to switch on your electrics afterwards. And I turned it off at the mains at the wall, at the... Turned it off at the mains up there. Flip the switch. Well, I did this, so doing it in daytime would be helpful. Alright, so thanks for watching. Hit the like button, Just leave a comment. Usually I get plumbers or some sort of professionals who be scolding me for this. But I'll tell you what, you've just saved yourself. I've just saved myself hundreds of pounds because that's what I would charge. That's why I would charge. It's a tough job. Right, thanks.